Could you explain that? What you mean by uh, singing was in him? Discipline spontaneous. I would speak with the correct and perfect synchronization of breathing diaphragmatically and speaking at the top of my breath. I would emphasize, emphasize sorry, my first words, blah, blah, a certain period of words. Then I would, I would let go of the air, pause and all those sorts of things. So that would come automatically every single time. Mm -hmm. That's for me the discipline spontaneous stage. But afterwards, I felt that my essence, my personality wasn't coming through. I even spoke to my coach, which I love him. I, I went to the UK in December 2018 and we spoke. It was so nice. And he would tell me, Perla, probably this is your real personality. But I was very, because I became very square-minded, very rigid, very rigid, very square-minded, very strong while I was speaking. Well, probably, yes, that was my real personality, but I wasn't liking it at all. Because I'm like the sort of cheerful person, no smiley, open, flexible, humble, that sort of person. So in personality-wise, I was lacking that essence. So you felt that... Your speech, even though it was pretty good or very good, you felt your personality was being constrained by the over control or the over thought about your speech. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So that's when I decided, I said, oh, I don't want this anymore. And that's when I had my first relapse. And then when I had my first relapse, I was like, oh, I shouldn't have had this relapse. What am I going to do now? I have so many blogs and blah, blah, blah. But I was told that I had to practice so many times and I had, I had to speak on the phone for so many times, go outside and stuff like that. So it took me about two months, two to three months to get back on track. But I think I didn't have that rigid assertive way of speaking afterwards and that's when my personality came into and from there i took some other courses that had to do with emotional well-being with mental mental well-being mental well-being as in mental assertiveness mastering my mind knowing how to manage my emotions in different situations. And so where do you do those courses? Was it in oh, the it's so many. No, no, in Mexico, in the States. Mm -hmm. After that, I went to some other courses that didn't have to do with the speech because I was not interested in the sort of speech site, but I was interested in the emotional and mental things. So that's when I took courses here in Mexico, took courses over there in, in the States. I yeah, what you learned? I learned so many things that I'm the master of my destiny. That things come into th two things. You stop and you choose. And happiness is not a mental state. It's a choice of the six basic emotions that life has, that, that we have as, as human beings. So you have the, you have, no, oh well, I have the decision of choosing from those six basic emotions. Could you, uh, could you share those six emotions for people who have this Anger, calm, sadness, happiness, two more, two more, two more, I'm forgetting those two others. So it's sadness, tranquility, anger, love, love. Hang on a second because I am forgetting the two more, two more. But I'll 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 speak more about this. So when I learned that I, the, that I have the decision of choosing from these six basic 
emotions and taking charge of my life. Plus with the things that I have learned before of feel the fear and do it anyway, which is quite good. And something that I made my, um, my phrase was make the world your comfort zone. Make the world your comfort zone. So that sort of state of mind helped me so much with the sort of emotional thing. I went to spirituality as well, which had to do with breathing. Breathing and connecting my mind with my heart. Because I didn't feel I was quite congruent in speaking what reality was. I would only speak what my mind wanted to say because that's what people want to hear. But I wouldn't speak what my heart would be. 